Yo, what is going on everybody? It is Screwball Toy Hunts back here with a Marvel Legends review and today we are going to be reviewing the Kingpin from Hawkeye. That is right guys, finally my shipment of Marvel Legends has finally come in. We have three to review here today. First, we're starting out with what with I'm most excited with is, is Kingpin and then we'll either do Agatha or we'll do Warrior Gamora uh, tomorrow and then... um. Wednesday. So let's get into it. So let's put these uh, these, uh, these to the side for now. And again, we'll we'll touch back with them uh, in a couple days. So here we got Kingpin. And the first thing I want to say before we even get into the, the the review itself is I am genuinely curious as to why they put a comic picture of him on the sides, but then his likeness is obviously all on the box in figure form i have never ever ever seen that before in anything honestly like typically like for example here we'll show agatha again you see agatha her real actress portrait is in the background and on the side of the box um but for whatever reason maybe it's due to licensing issues maybe with netflix of course as you guys know kingpin uh, Vincent uh, D'Onofrio was on uh, the Daredevil show on Netflix, uh, so maybe that has something to do with it. I'm not entirely sure, but I just wanted to point that out before we got into it because I find that very, very interesting. And there we have the Hawkeye logo on the front. Uh, let's go to the back. You see it comes with some accessories, like UPCs and everything like that. Uh, so yeah, and there's the uh, Hydra Stomper, which we will eventually build. We will eventually build in its entirety. So yeah, let's get into it. So let's open them. And I don't keep the boxes neat here. I just open them up and I just toss them to the ground. So we like to do here. So there's what you see when you open it. And I do also want to point out that this is the last MCU wave, or I should say last Marvel Legends wave with cardboard boxing. So no more uh, cardboard plasticless packaging after this wave. Hallelujah, I know a lot of you guys, including myself, do not like it, and I hate this parchment paper, too. I think this parchment paper is ridiculous. Let me... This is one reason why I don't like it. We're doing everything uh, unedited here, guys. Everything unedited here, to say the least. And, uh... Huh. Look at that. Yeah, I already have a complaint. Guess what, ladies and gentlemen? Oh, never mind. Never mind. I got it. I got it. I got it. It was hiding under my camera. Never mind. I was just about to say they forgot a hand. There, here we go. So let's see. Let's see what this kingpin figure is all about. So I will say right off the rip, right off the rip, I will say this. He looks way, way, way too small. Uh, comparing, you know, to what he looked like in the show. Now, he only probably stands about six inches tall. Right? But, of course, as you guys know, and my camera's trying to fall down here. Let me readjust it real quick. In the show, he is a lot taller compared to other characters. But... We'll get to him in a minute, but before uh, for that, I want to show off. He comes with two uh, fisting hands, so you can interchange his gripping hands to the fisted hands, so that's pretty neat. And then the only accessory you get, and I guess you don't get a Build-A-Figure piece, which I didn't read up on, so I, I didn't know. You get his, like, walking stick, or, like, cane, or, or whatever, right? So there's that. So let's get to the figure itself now. Because I saw a lot of people hating on this figure. And we'll see why. So let's... I mean, he don't even do the full splits. There's there's one uh, X in my eyes. Oh, there goes the camera again. Let me readjust it real quick. As you see, this Kingpin figure, it stands well. I will say that. Typically... You know, with suited figures, I was just about to say, with suited figures with this with this 
mold because this is not the first time we have seen this mold for the legs of, of suited figures. This has been used multiple, multiple times with multiple different characters. Um, there's really nothing new in terms of molds except the head, uh, which of course we'll uh, do a little close up right here. So there is the head of Vince D'Onofrio, Kingpin. And this is definitely a figure you guys are going to want to get because this guy is going to be around for quite a while in the MCU. He's going to be in the Echo Show. He's going to be apparently the main villain of Spider-Man 4. He's going to be in Daredevil. Uh, he's going to be in a lot of Disney, uh, Disney projects with Marvel. So you guys are definitely going to want to pick this up. So let's go over, I guess, articulation. You got the hand swivel. You got the, the uh, bicep uh, swivel. You got... You got the um, waist, but no abs, no ab articulation with this guy. Uh, kind of, kind of predictable. Um, again, suited figures. You know, with the suited mold, you're not going to get, you're not going to get that ab crunch in these these suited molds. You have a thigh swivel. That's what you want to call it. A no, no boot, uh, no boot articulation. No, no, uh, no boot articulation. I will say that none. It doesn't even go side to side. It doesn't even go side to side. And then, of course, you have the head up, down, side, side, full range of motion on this figure. So let's go over my thoughts on this figure because this figure, there is definitely a lot of problems with it. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Let's see if we can get his cane to get into his hand here. Just like so. Perfect. It fits just in the right, just like a glove. So... This figure has a lot of issues. I will say that. Um, no ab crunch, which again was was expected. Genuinely surprised by the lack of of ankle articulation with this. There is none. There is none. Maybe that's why the figure stood up on its own relatively easily uh, compared to other figures. Because I know when I open like uh, suited figures all the time, they instantly just flop to the ground just like that. Uh, but maybe it's because there is no ankle articulation. Like there, there could definitely be some there, but there just is not. Like if you try to move it, it literally just it it like it like wobbles a tad. But it's there is no real articulation there. There is none. So this figure is not that articulated, to be honest. With you. you got a couple movements in the arms. You got the wrist. You got the head. You got the the legs. The legs don't even go all the way back. But this is as far as it'll go back. So it's not like this. This uh, plastic coat will interfere with that. So this figure is honestly, it's it's very overwhelming. You know, it's it's very um, you know, I don't want to call it a cereal toy. You get out of a cereal box, but at the same time, I mean, you get, again, this figure was twenty seven dollars. You know, I paid twenty seven dollars for this, and of course, you got the double jointed pinless. Or I should say, no, you do not. You do not have the pinless. You do not. There it is. There's pins. You do not. Wow. Okay, so. You got the pinless legs, though. I'll say that. Wow. Okay, we do not have pinless elbows and pinless arms. Okay, so. Uh, hmm. I don't know, guys. I do not know about this one. I like... And appreciate how he got a Vincent D'Onofrio. Because it was a long time coming. Like this guy should have had a figure back in like 2015 when Daredevil first came on the air. But they never gave him one. So I can appreciate the fact that we're finally getting one. But, 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 but. There's always a big but in the situation. He is too small compared to other characters. I can tell you right now, if I got an MCU Daredevil, which I, I don't have the Netflix Daredevil, but if I did, I stood him right up next to him. Now, in the show, he's about right up to here on, on him. But with this figure, he'd probably be right standing right up next to him, shoulder to shoulder, right next to him. This figure is way too small for the representation. There is very little articulation. I definitely think this figure should have had a build-a-figure piece. Now, of course, typically how they operate is one figure out of the wave doesn't get the build-a-figure piece. I guess they thought this would sell on its own, which, I mean, it will. This figure will sell because us Netflix Daredevil fans who have watched this guy for how many years now? Eight years, essentially. I think the first season came out in 2015. 
So we've been watching this guy for quite a while. And, you know, it's been a long time coming since this guy's had a Marvel Legend. But at the same time, very little articulation. No Build-A-Figure piece. Uh, just hand accessories and a cane. That's it. And all around the board, like, unupdated. Like, you see, like, there's pins right there. I don't know, guys. I truly don't know. Um, you know, if you like Netflix Daredevil and, of course, liked the Echo show, or I shouldn't say Echo, but uh, Hawkeye, pick this one up. Um, it's definitely worth it. You need to have this guy because, like I said, he is going to be, rumor has it, he is going to be the mayor of New York in the Daredevil show. So he is definitely going to be a figure that you need in the collection, an absolute must-have. Uh, but he is really nothing more than just there. I mean, there is no posability. Like, sure, you can move his arms. Sure, you can move his waist. You can move his, you can move his, uh, legs just a tad, but that is it. Like, I honestly genuinely think if we got it better, if this figure was to be redone again and made again, I think this figure should have probably been a deluxe. I definitely think this figure should have been a deluxe figure. So that way, you know, we got more articulation, maybe more accessories, because this figure is lacking a lot. Uh, but other than that, you know, it's a good head sculpt, you know, definitely movie, or I should say show accurate compared to what we got in, in the Hawkeye show. So it's definitely accurate. Uh, that's pretty much all I could say. That is pretty much all I could say, uh, with this figure. So guys, thank you guys so much for joining me on my full, uh, my very first toy review. This is the first one of, of many we're going to do here on the channel. So I appreciate all you guys stopping by on this video. Tomorrow we'll either do Agatha or we'll either do uh, Warrior Gamora. I'll leave that up to you, what you guys want to see. So leave a comment in the comment section, what you guys want to see. And I'll see you guys in the next video.